Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is my gimbal that I got on eBay installed on my Blade 350QX with these uh, ghetto cardboard skid extensions. <laughs> I couldn't find nothing to use for spacers so I just make cardboard flaps. Pretty good though. But here it is here. Pretty sick. Let's see, take a good look of it. Uh, installed. Review. I kind of dressed it up with the uh, zip ties, so nothing gets in the way. These motors are the motors are really sensitive to like anything that blocks it. So even if this wire is in the way, it might not work. But try to dress the wires really well. And then um, here's the back end of it. Here's a little there's a chip in the board over there. And then uh there's, there's the first motor there and then the second motor is in right over there. And then from there the power remember that rainbow strip I took? I just took the red and black wires and I just took a paper clip. And I cut them to length, and I just super glued them. Crazy glue, Gorilla Glue, put them in here. So now all I do is hook these up into the balancing lead wire and the battery, and it runs the gimbal while it's flying. And it fits really well with the backing on here. It just snaps right over. Yeah. But that's it. Um. The installation, I just basically took screws, got washers and um, and rubber, rubber washers to give it a snug fit. And then on the inside, I put um, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm seeing it a flashlight here. I put wing nuts in there. See the wing nut right there? Yeah, right it. Right in there, the wing nut. Yeah, so. That's that. And let's see if I can uh, power this thing up with a battery. I have to put this thing aside. Let's see if I can mod this up here. Okay. So there it is here. Put this battery. Give it a second to boot up. And there you go. And there you have it. What's good about this gimbal is uh, you can manually set the pitch on the camera or even the the way you want this thing set up neutrally you can uh, manually set it up all you do is there's a little tiny button right here you, you push that button and what it does is it shuts down the gimbal and it gives you a few moments and you, you hold you hold the camera position wherever you want it with, with the camera angle down, up, you know, tilt to the side or whatnot, you hold it and then it reconfigures and automatically puts it in the position you want it to be. So uh, let's try, give it a try. Let's 
push this button. So as soon as I push this button, you're gonna see it go down. So there's the button, I'm gonna push it. And you're gonna see it power down. Right about here. Now. There you go, power down. So now you can say I want it like this, you hold it like that. Oh, that was too slow. Let me try it again. Let's see, look, it's holding it at a different angle now. Do this again. Power it down. I want it to say I want it like this. You hold it, picks it up, and now your, your, your angle and direction of your camera facing is set to that. So you can manually set it. You don't have to plug it into the computer and go through some software settings or anything. You just push the button and move the camera where you want it to be. And there you go. So let me do this again, make it straight. So see if I want it level. Push the button again. Push again, I want it like this. There you go. And adjust, and there you go. Pretty good for a cheap old eBay gimbal. There are cheaper ones from like China, but I couldn't wait, so I ordered one. I found one on, that was located in the U.S. Ordered it one day air, but since I'm in Hawaii, got it in like three days, so I'm probably gonna dispute the shipping and get my twenty-two dollars back. Um, you're gonna have to make spacers. As you can see, I had to make shifts. Some cardboard spacers pretty tall to get clearance because if not it'll just rest on the gimbal and you don't want that and I already did a test flight earlier today um, I'll post that later but um, that's it yep oh you want to make sure you want to put zip ties the, the miniature zip ties on these bushings around it so if you get a real hard landing it'll pop off so that's it on my little headlight, custom headlight I made. <laughs> Using the GoPro. Works pretty good at night. But yeah, and that's it. There's my power plug. And it just goes away. There's that thing in the back doing its work.